Part four, guys, of the uh, 2J port. Almost dropped my phone. Bargain. So we've matched the floor of the intake manifold now um, with it bolted on. And I'll show you the cutter we're using. A couple of little tips about the radius profile and the shape of the cutter to really make the job a lot easier on yourselves. All right. So let's have a look. I'll turn the so this is where we're at. We've still got to do the floor, but as you can see, we've done the roof and it's not too bad. We're just getting it close because I will put it back on when we cartridge sand this because we will finish this off in a 60 grit. Um, but as you can see, they're all pretty close now. Not too bad. So I've got to flip the head and we're going to do the floor. But um, for now, that's that's the roof. It's It's pretty damn close. Now, as far as the cutter, always whenever you're doing walls like this, um, you want something that's long in the cutter. And by that, I mean, see how there's not a lot of radius along the length of the cutter. This is a half inch cutter. Um, but it's not small like, um, say, something like that. Or even a small egg. So let's get a small egg here. The reason I wouldn't use this for match porting is because it has a smaller radius shape, which means it can tend to trench in. Uh, and once you start trenching a, a head or a manifold, it's hard to get out and you'll find it'll, it, it'll dig in. So we'll actually end up with a, a low in the wall and we don't want that. That's why I go with a really, really long flame because it'll get more, as you can see, it'll get more, no, I can't really get a good angle there, I'll try it from that side. It's got more area and it's a lot flatter through the cutter, so it's much easier to get that straight line, extend that straight line into the port. And we start in the port, not on the manifold, so in the head, and we just pull it down till it starts to ring the intake and you'll hear it and you'll see it if you're looking closely and if I zoom in there let's see you can see we just started to clean the intake up on that and then when I go in and cartridge sand that I'll actually blend the intake probably right up to here alrighty well there it is guys I'll keep you posted for part 5